So the oldest on the bottom and the newest on top Said how old is your fossil bro? Well it was pretty far down so it's pretty darn old And I dated this one so I got to know It's from 3.5 billion years ago Yo, I got that lava flow Volcano air full of particles and smoke There goes life as they know Now that's a blast Most rocks ain't moving that fast The sediment's evidence like a present Telling us of the past Fossil rocks are in the ground tonight Like that. Every day I'm shoveling. Brushing and brushing them. Brush it off. You hear the story of life as told through rock. The story of the earth as told through life. Now stop. Do the tribal bite. Continental plates Adrifting Mountains in the states Uplifting Tend to isolate The species Affecting who you mate with Believe me Slow moves Long time Push up mountains to the sky Slow moves Long time Open up a great divide Slow moves Long time Fossils found on my side Fossils found They tell us why Tell the history of life Slow moves Long time Slow moves Long time Slow moves Long time Slow moves Long time And I'm Bethany, and today we're going to be exploring the story of the Earth as told through rocks. You'll get to go outside and find some rocks on your own. Did you know that rocks can be found everywhere? Everywhere? Everywhere! everywhere. Wow. For example, you can find rocks near a tree, underground, or even in your driveway. Make sure to watch for traffic, though, if you're in the street. You're almost ready to go out and find your own rocks in your yard or in a nearby park. But before you go, let's find out what you'll need to take with you. All right, so now we're going to find out what materials you're going to need. Before you go, make sure that you have your science notebook using your pen or pencil. Make sure to make a table. In one column, you can put rock number, and in the other column, leave space to make your observations. We'll talk more about those in just a minute. Also, as a good geologist, you might want to bring a magnifying glass or hand lens, but if you don't have one of those, you can just make sure to use your active eyes. Also, if you feel so inclined, you can bring a brush to brush it off. What kinds of things can you observe? Lots. Color. Texture. Size. Sparkle. Luster. Shine. Woo! Smell. And anything else that you might find interesting. All right, now you know everything you need to get started. Now's the time to go out and observe at least three rocks. You can pause the video and come back with your observations. Oh, you're back!
Excellent. Now take a couple minutes to look over your observations. Is there anything that sparks your interest, makes you curious? Hmm, well now's your chance to write that all down. Spend at least two minutes writing down as many questions as you can possibly think of in your science journals. But there are two rules. Number one, write down every question you think of. And number two, don't stop. Don't stop to judge or try and answer your questions. Ready? Go. <laughs> Bring that list of questions to class tomorrow and we'll take the next step together. Now remember, to be a good geologist, you have to ask lots of questions, be safe, and always have 